Hey guys, I am back at it again with another heat banger video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I got my mic back, so the quality will be a lot better compared to the last video I did. Oh my god, that was actually trash to me. But we got the mic back, so I'm gonna be explaining like the 180 ways, the 360 ways process. Make sure you also add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is burritos or die. I would try to spell burritos, but I might actually ruin it. So don't quote me on that. But it's burritos or die. Snapchat at me. But basically in this video, I'm going to go over like transitioning from 180 waves to 360 waves. I always say to do this, but I really want to make sure you guys understand completely and don't overwork yourself with the way, especially for my new guys, my beginners. And um, yeah, even for people who have been having waves, like sometimes I feel like people do work harder than what they need to. So let's get into like why you should do it, like why you should do it. Um, and also like why 180 waves get such a bad rep. And I'm not really too sure why, but uh, for 180 waves, it's just a lot easier if you're working with the top, like just understand that like you will go through a lot less struggle, a lot less pain, and you'll get more girls if you do 180 waves faster just because people will start seeing the waves easier you know what i'm saying it's about to get warmer you know what i'm saying spring summer you got to have your waves looking right and then 180 waves this is the easiest way to do it another thing too if you don't have all the brushes definitely start off with 180 waves first just because you need a hard medium soft brush and most people who start out don't have all those three brushes and then they don't even have all the right products so that's why I say start with 180s. Uh, get the brush pattern down, like just on the top. Like, don't worry about the back. Just worry about your fade. Worry about doing 180 waves, and then go from there. A lot of times, people don't even wear the do rag as well. But it's just a lot in go. go it's a lot that goes into it from the 180 waves when you're first when you first start out. But once you get it, you got it. You know what I mean? So. But yeah, also too, like going from the 180 wave process first, like starting from there, it's a perfection process. That's also why I recommend you guys go 180 waves first, just so you can understand exactly your curl pattern specific to you. A lot of times when people go straight in through 60s, like they have their favorite waivers, but they don't understand their own hair pattern, their own hair texture. That's why I tell you like, when anyways is the perfection process is because once you understand what products like what shampoos what conditioners what leave-in conditioners what shower brush method what do rag what pomade all those type products what um uh like you know what i'm saying leave-in condition that you leave in overnight what brand what works best with you in that perfection process you're going to understand how long you need to put brush work in. You want to understand how long to put the products in. You want to understand when to brush and what to brush with the products. You know what I'm saying? You want to also understand like if you work better with grease or if you work better with olive oil or you know what oil works best. So that's why I also say like what are you wave process? It's just a lot easier because you can perfect your ways, bro. Like that's the one of the most important things. Like if you want definition or if you want them to show, like you want to perfect them, bro. Like you don't want to uh not understand it and then kind of work harder like as I, as I said you want to make sure that you understand it and basically one of the ways is the fastest way to understand it because it's not that much work and you don't have to, you don't have to work on the back like you can get into that but that's like second like when you get one of the ways is the top mainly and then the size and then the back but if you don't want to struggle start off with the 180 waves method first now let's get into it now just because you do one of these waves doesn't mean that you don't have to brush, bro. You have to brush. So we're going to get into brush work. We're going to get into patterns. We're going to get into crowns. We're going to get into that, all that. So with one of the waves, you really don't have to worry about what type of crown you want to get because it's up to you. But I suggest you try like a beehive. You can do a beehive. You can do a swirl. It's up to you. You'll start seeing that later on once you get to the back. Like once you start getting waves in the back and you start getting into that process. Process. But you want to make sure you brush, bro. Like, don't forget that part. Like, a lot of times I see people do 180 waves and people don't get a lot of love when they do 180 waves because they don't brush. Make sure you brush. If you get a military grade fade, brush your hair. You know what I'm saying? Use pomade also, but brush. Make sure you get your patterns. Make sure you get the size. Make sure you brush in the mirror. Make sure you brush for like an hour a day at least. If you want your waist to show, bro, like I'm telling you, this is important to get started on now because, bro, it's getting warmer. It's getting hot. Like we have to make sure our ways are on point because, you know, what I'm saying a lot of the people with locks are taking over, bro. Like too many people have locks now, bro. 
Like that's a whole other conversation in itself of how many people have locks. Like literally you can't walk it down the street like a mile in Atlanta without seeing locks. Like it's I like it, but you know what I'm saying? Stand up for the 180 ways, 360 ways, brush your hair, bro. Because like at this point, even if you have waves, you stand out from the crowd because nobody has them. No more. Everyone's growing their everybody's growing their hair. I was like, dang. But nonetheless, brush. Just because you have one of these ways that does not exempt you from not brushing, make sure you use a good quality brush. Make sure you use a curved brush if you are looking to go from 180 waves to 360 waves because that is going to be an easier transition on the sides. But nonetheless, please, whether if you're doing 180 or 360, brush, 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 um, and then use pomade after to save the progress. As I always say, the pomade is the memory card to save in all of the work that you put in for brush work. So if you don't want your ways to go away, if you want your ways to stay in, make sure you brush, make sure you get into it, make sure you stay with good products. And then also natural products is going to also give you a better shine and a better quality health to your hair. Your hair is going to be a lot healthier. Your scalp is going to thank you as well. And you're going to notice it when you wake up, when you get ready to go to school, work, wherever you're going. You're going to notice your waves are going to be a lot easier to work with. And then when you get a cut, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be like, okay, your hair quality is different. And it's not really different. It's just that you've been taking care of your hair, which is the main thing when you're doing waves is to understand that you need to take care of your hair and brush. So another thing you guys can also do is a shower brush method. And also it's the plastic bag method. And then I also recommend you try to trim your hair with your own clippers. When you're more advanced, like if you're a little bit older, you could trim your waves so that way you don't have any hair sticking up like I have like right now, as you see, it's no hair sticking up because I'm one, my hair is laid down. And then two, I do use the clippers on top with a guard and I just trim it. And that just makes sure that my hair is laying down and it's no frizz, which is very, very important. But you can also do that. I also recommend that. But you know, shower brush method, you know, you take a hard brush in a shower, you just brush with the pattern. I may make another video with that just to show you like an updated routine on how to do it the correct way. But you know what I'm saying? Good and good lather. You have different types of shampoos. I do want to try other brands of shampoos, like a natural shampoo, and uh make a video on it because I feel like that would be dope. Do other products because a lot of times people are doing bar soaps instead of like, you know what I'm saying, the ones you buy from the store. So I will be getting into that soon. But, you know, use the shower brush method. And you also use the plastic bag method where you brush your hair after um, you get everything done. Like after you take off your rag, you, use, you just to lay it down. You know, say the plastic bag method just lays down your hair really good. But other than that, it's it, man. You just said you want to get ready for the summer. You want to get weather for, ready for the warm weather because it is coming. And you don't want to slack on your brush session because, bro, you don't want to be in Miami with no waves, bro. Like the locks are already taken over. You don't want to be in Miami with no waves. So. That's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I will be back at it with more videos coming up. But yeah, leave any questions down in the comment box below or on Snapchat. So thank you.